Hey yeah, guys, what's good? Uh, day one of 29. So this is the physique update, uh, 154.6 this morning um, after a low carb day yesterday. Uh, so yeah, this morning, the idea is coffee read. Um, and then I'm going to just, you know, work two, three hours ish. And then I got cardio and I'll show you guys that. And then I'll take you guys to the rest of the day. Okay, let's get it. The cardio can help with, um, you know, lower belly fat a little bit. Um, but that only works if you're lean enough, okay? So I'm getting to a point where I can see a little bit of difference. And the main reason is you add some blood flow to the stubborn area. I do all my messages. And I'm going to start editing this video. So that way you're stacking a habit. Um, cardio abs done. Um, now time for a pre-workout meal. Basically cream of rice, 100 grams cream of rice, 150, 100 berries and 30 protein. Uh, now I'm going to eat this, watch bodybuilding podcast because I love it. And then uh, I'm going to head to the gym. So this is gonna be about 60 to 90 minutes prior to my workout. I'm gonna work out at 10.30 a.m. Right now it's 9 a.m. Eat this and then I'm gonna get changed up a little bit uh, and then I'll get to work. The main things here, I had my this meal prepped already the night before. You don't wanna spend your mornings because you're already so back to back making food, right? You're wasting time. So at nighttime when you're more like, okay, like you don't have any major tasks to do, it's like I prepped this meal. I, I'll post a picture here. I prepped my chicken and rice for post-workout. I prepped my intro workout drink and I prepped my pre-workout drink. It took me 15 minutes, right? Major things is you want to have your rice and chicken already prepped and all the supplies already at home, right? Um, I'll post like what my pre and post workout stack looks like as well. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna go to the gym. Okay, let's get it. Hey guys, what's up? So outside Freebird, about to hit a nice little full body push. Uh, I'll just take you guys through a couple exercises. I probably won't record the whole thing. Um, just because of the fact that I've recorded it many times and it'll be on Instagram anyways. Uh, but yeah, the pre-workout is this caffeine pill, muscle tech, and then the pre-workout I already showed in the previous uh, slide, right? Or the previous uh, clip, right? Where I was taking my pre-workout, all the supplements, right? Um, but yeah, about to hit a nice little push day. One of the biggest things when it comes to training while on a cut, especially like on prep per se, a lot of people like I lose strength, I lose muscle, all that stuff. Don't think like that when you go to the gym. In the gym, when you're there, try to get as jacked as possible every single time. Yo, I'll post some sets here, but like, yo, push yourself, right? Every single time in the gym, push yourself. Maybe the last two weeks of the cut, I might take it a little bit easier per se, but until the very end, just keep sending it in the gym. Focus should be always getting jacked. Let's get it. You did good today. Really good. You might not see it. You might think it was just another day, but it wasn't. Every step you took today was a step forward, no matter how small. You faced challenges, you overcame obstacles, and you kept moving. Remember, every effort counts. Every bit of progress matters. You're building a better tomorrow with every action you take today. The struggles you faced, they're just stepping stones leading you to greater heights. You're stronger than you realize, more capable than you give yourself credit for. Be proud of yourself. Post-workout, um, chicken, rice, and pineapple, major keys, quick digesting foods, right? I just worked out. Your body is in the most prime state to absorb some carbs. It just needs it. You just depleted yourself in glycogen, so now you gotta replenish it. And so this is the time if you wanna enjoy some nice, juicy amount of carbs, even if you're like on a fat loss journey, bulking season, whatever it is, this is the meal you wanna have the most amount of carbs. So I got 300 grams of rice here, 100 grams of pineapple and chicken, uh, and like, this is gonna be the most amount of carbs I'll have all day, even on like my cut, like I'm on prep, right? Stepping on stage in three and a bit weeks, um, but I'm still having a good amount of carbs post-workout. This is what keeps the muscle full and your body is more receptive to it at this time, okay? The four is gonna be potatoes and egg whites um, and some cucumber and major key here is, I already have like some potatoes cut up here, thanks to a mom, right? And then some cucumbers too, thanks to a mom too. Um, and that's a big point when it comes to like, I'm just gonna have 300 grams here, so I'm gonna measure it. Um, but when it comes to like, you know, following a diet, meal prepping, all that stuff, you need help, man. Like sometimes, you know, it can get a little bit overwhelming making a lot of foods or having all these meals and stuff like that. Uh, but if you just communicate and the others know, it's like, hey, like I'm on this diet or like I need help with this, um, it can go a long way. Like my dad loves cooking, so he marinates the chicken for me, right? Um, and then like I'll just put it in the air fryer easy. And then sometimes like he'll make the rice or mom will make the rice and then mom or dad will like uh, make the potatoes or cucumbers, right? So they're all just ready to go all the time. And what I'll just do is, let me show them mess this up, 300 grams, 300 grams of egg whites. And what I'll just do is I'll make maybe the egg whites or put the chicken in the air fryer and the rice, potatoes and cucumbers ready to go. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, the way I like doing my egg whites is I like putting a little bit of salt in there, right? Some chef games right here. And then a little black pepper in there. There you go, a little bit extra. And I'm just putting a little bit of dash in there. Right? Ding, 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 ding. And then a little bit of basil in there. There you go. I'm just gonna mix this up. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, easy really, really is uh, meal four. Potatoes, egg whites, cucumber. If you have potatoes and uh, cucumbers already ready to go, it's a mad easy meal. The egg whites took me like two minutes. So I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of Frank's hot sauce on here. Just a little bit, nothing too wild. Yo, Greek yogurt, 100 grams berries, 350 grams Greek yogurt, 20 whey, and a little bit of cinnamon. Um, no more fats at this meal, so Coach Baxter is trying to get me hella dry, so we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna eat this, and then I'm actually gonna start this movie. It's called uh, House of Gucci Games, right? Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna do this, and then call it. I still have to do, after I eat this, I'm gonna wait 30 minutes, and I gotta do my last 30 minute cardio session. I don't know if I'm going to record anything of that, but I'll maybe like throw on whatever the Fitbit tracker shows. But yeah, I'm going to eat this 30 minutes later. I'll do 30 minutes cardio um, and then take some supplements. Maybe I'll share. Actually, you know what? I'm going to share what supplements I'm going to take. One sec. So I'm going to be taking this ashwagandha, this L-theanine and... Uh, And the zinc and magnesium right here. That's the, let's go back here. This, this is what happens when I try recording myself. I'm too spoiled. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be my supplement stack. I'm gonna take 200 uh, milligrams theanine, 50 zinc, I think 600 magnesium and then 600 uh, ashwagandha. And yeah, I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna chill a little bit and I'll take those supplements and then I'll go cardio, okay? Actually, I'm gonna eat, get those supplements after cardio. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm fried, I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but um, I'm pretty fried already. And this was actually a decently high carb day and training day. But yeah, tomorrow's a low carb day. And uh, yeah, I don't know how much, how consistent I'll be this vlogging, man. Hopefully it doesn't add extra things to my plate. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, this is me, not the most positive guy talking right now. Usually you guys see me all positive and shit, but yeah, prep is kind of, you know, what's a tiring day, you know? It's 8.30 right now. Started at like 5.30, right? So, uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. What I'm gonna probably do with this is make it just a YouTube video. And uh, yes, this is gonna be a portrait, but I'm just gonna do landscape going forward and just record vlogs and just post that as like the daily update and I'll just give updates on the stories as like pictures, meals, and like if I'm like talking or thinking about something. Uh, but I think that's gonna be the best way to go about it. Take it easy guys, have a great day.